Thousands of people go through life believing they're allergic to penicillin, but studies, including one just conducted at Vanderbilt University, prove that only 10% really are. So what is, what is Millie's car like? Kathy Sparks' immune disorder kept her in the doctor's office as a kid. One infection led to her taking penicillin. Penicillin apparently, um, I, got a, I threw it violently and got a rash from head to toe. And so the doctor just put it on a shelf. And it is still on the shelf, even though Kathy is now a grandmother of 12. The patients have been told by a parent that they're allergic to penicillin, so they've been told by someone that they trust. Three quarters of penicillin allergy labels come on by age three, but persist into adulthood. Using other drugs against complex infections costs more, they're less effective, and promotes antibiotic resistance. Additionally, real penicillin allergies are incredibly rare. True anaphylaxis associated with penicillin is, is less than one in 10,000. Vanderbilt recently studied 300 patients labeled allergic, and only three of them, or 1%, had a reaction. Kathy wasn't allergic, a life changer for her recent knee replacement surgery. Part of how we were able to do that was the fact that we knew we had new things in the arsenal. If there is a risk associated with penicillin allergy, then we recommend patients actually get that uh, assessed by, by in a specialty clinic. Medically, it's normalized a whole segment of my health care. So it's really, it's amazing. Dr. Phillips and her team used a tool that proved to be 99% effective in detecting the risk level of a penicillin allergy. It's now being used to guide testing in around 50% of intensive care patients being evaluated.